Shalom and greetings from Jerusalem Jane. I want to get this uh, news update out to all of my followers around the world. And so unfortunately, I am beginning by sharing some breaking news of another heinous terror attack here in Israel. How many days have begun in Israel with another horrendous terror attack? with another family or families getting that notification, your loved one was just plainly executed, brutally murdered in a terror attack. It happened again this morning. Between Israel and Jordan, there are several border crossings. One of them is the Allenby crossings. It's not for anyone, uh, Israeli citizens. These are for Arabs and for tourists going in and out and there is a lot of aid trucks coming in with goods also trucks with goods that is on the way to the civilians inside Gaza this morning a Jordanian truck driver decided to become a terrorist he got out of his truck with a handgun and before he reached the area where they are going through security and checks he got out of his truck and he went up and he plainly executed, murdered in cold blood three Israeli workers at that Allenby crossing. I have shared about this extensively on my social media today. And again, I cannot encourage you enough. If you have a smartphone, an iPhone, download the app Telegram and follow my Telegram channel for minute to minute updates. I'm sharing a lot more that doesn't also go out on my Facebook because there is so much censorship and being limited. So follow my Telegram channel, simply follow Jerusalem Jane. So three Israeli workers, they were all men around 50 years old, probably all married with children, maybe some of them even grandchildren, were brutally murdered today by a Jordanian tr truck driver who decided to become a terrorist to just go in and murder random Israelis on his path. Uh, it hasn't been released yet, the names, the identities of the three Israelis who were brutally murdered this morning, but I'm taking this opportunity from my heart to send deep, the deepest condolences to their families uh, in this horrible, horrible, horrible time. Three funerals are now going to take place again because of terrorism here in the Holy Land. All the border crossings between Jordan and Israel has now officially been closed. Uh, this border crossing where the attack happened is in, of course in the Jordan Valley only five kilometers away from Jericho, the Arab city of Jericho. Um, the Israeli military actually went out and said that they were looking into if there had been, uh, if the, the truck that this terrorist was driving, if there were explosive devices on that truck. So they were looking into that and they will come out with more information later on absolutely horrific it is all over all the main news channel here in israel i also want to share a little bit uh hezbollah terror organization hezbollah continues to pound israel with rockets uh, with drones sometimes missile anti-tank missiles yesterday during shabbat and overnight more than 100 is it 150 um, barrages was fired or rockets were fired in numerous barrages into Israel. There were some hits on houses in the north. People were told don't uh, go too far away from your um, safe places, from your bomb shelters. Nobody can live like that. Nobody can live like that. Uh, and Hezbollah continue. They broke the agreement that was made since the last Lebanon war, they have to be a certain kilometers away from the Israeli border. Of course, they broke that. They are further uh, south in Lebanon towards Israel. They united nothing. The 
the United Nations who is sta stationed on that border, of course, they are doing nothing about it. Um, so Hezbollah continued to pound the northern part of Israel with rockets. So according to um, some Israeli officials, uh, they estimate that a major operation in Lebanon is going to be launched very soon. Israel has no choice. It will be an operation with ground forces in Lebanon to push Hezbollah back. It will be supported by the air. It will be supported by the Israeli Navy. And Israeli military is doing uh, attacks now. The Israeli Air Force is taking out rocket launchers. Uh, in Lebanon every day. This has been happening every single day since the uh, October 7 attack last year. Every day ever since they have been attacking us. So Israel doesn't have a choice. I want to give you some numbers uh, that came out in an article and I know it's going to be a lot of numbers and you're probably going to say wow Jane but please please listen to this. Uh, because it is absolutely horrendous. Since October 7, since the beginning of this war with Hamas, 1,600, 1,664 Israelis have been killed. 706, 706 were soldiers. 17,709 have been wounded. 17,800 people have been wounded. Many of them are soldiers who have lost an arm, two arms, a leg, two legs since the beginning of this horrendous war. 143,000 people have been evacuated from their homes in the north and also the people in the communities close to Gaza. 20,000 projectiles has been fired at Israel uh, since then. 935 communities in Israel has been fired upon and forcing Israelis to run for shelter 15,000 times. 15 times, 15,000 times. Do you have to drop everything no matter where you are? Even if you're on the fourth floor and run for shelter in the basement, if you have a bomb shelter, women have to grab their babies and run for their lives. In October alone, 7,721 7, sirens were activated. It's unbelievable. 17,000 Hamas terrorists has been murdered. So when you hear there's a number coming out from the health ministry in Gaza, 40,000 killed inside Gaza, no, 17,000 of them were Hamas terrorists. Israel has, the Israeli military have been striking 38,000 Hamas military targets throughout Gaza. In the Northern Front, 50 Israelis have been killed, 24 of them were soldiers. So since October 7, it's unbelievable, 50 Israelis have been killed in the North, 24 were soldiers. 68,000 people have been evacuated by 43 Northern communities because Hezbollah decided to get active. These are the numbers that is so horrendous. It's, it's, it's just mind, mind bottling. I mean, mind blowing. So 17,800 people have been injured. It's just unbelievable. And then comes all the terror attacks out in Judea and Samaria also. And like I just said, we just had a terror attack now. Three people were brutally murdered by a a Jordanian truck driver. Last week, three Israeli police officers were brutally murdered in a terror attack out in Samaria. One of these police officers, his daughter, a brave Israeli police officer, was shot on October 7 in Sidrot when she was defending the police station when all of these barbaric monsters from 
uh, the pit of hell came in from Gaza and attacked Israel. So this was one family who lost a daughter on October 7, and now the father was brutally murdered doing his job as a police officer here in Israel. Six hostages brutally executed, also murdered by Hamas in Gaza. So many tears, so many broken hearts, so many shattered families, so many funerals, and it never stops. So pray for Israel for such a time as this, where the Israeli military, they are having drills, they are having preparations, because they know as soon as the government here in Israel is saying, okay, they are going to go and they are going to push Hezbollah back, further back up in Lebanon, so they are not an imminent threat, threat to Israel, to the Israelis, being attacked every day uh, by these vile uh, terrorists in Hezbollah. And our brave forces are still fighting Hamas, ISIS inside Gaza. They are taking out hundreds and hundreds of terrorists who are still active inside the Gaza Strip. And of course, we know all of Gaza has been turned into a, a terrorist nest. Beneath Gaza, there are tunnels everywhere, including in children's bedrooms. So for such a time as this, we will stand with Israel. We will do what God has called us to do, and that is to comfort comfort my people. I will do that. I know you will do that. All the brave and amazing um, intercessors and Israel supporters around the world. I have started packing. I have to leave this apartment in three weeks. I still don't know where I'm going. Any tip for a good apartment for Jerusalem Jane, fully furnished, I would really appreciate it. For such a time as this, my heart will always be with Israel. United, we stand with Israel, the Holy Land. Bye.